All right, ladies and gentlemen, today, now that you have done your final, and I even added a couple extra pieces, I added my hair in, so now that you are done in white wire, it's now time to grab the black wire. You will notice the black wire is thinner, but it's also kind of stiffer. So, what you're going to start with is you're going to start by tying it in somewhere. So just like you've been tying in the white wire, you're going to wrap around to tie. I would start somewhere in the kind of torso area because it's going to be a little easier to do the, your wrap. And you're noticing, you're going to notice that I am using the tool more because this stuff, since it's stiffer, is harder to twist. So I'm going to use the tool a little bit more when you're working with black wire. Once you've got it twisted on, then what you're going to start to do trying to make this a little easy to see, is you're going to start wrapping it around. You're going to wrap around the body so that you're starting to make your body look like a body. Then once you get down here to the leg, you're going to start wrapping around the leg and start making that leg look round like your leg would look. So you're going to go around the leg and I'm going to keep going. So now I'm getting to this part of the leg that only has two pieces. I'm going to keep going around so you can see how it's making it round. I'm not getting super tight along the, the white wire because if I go too tight along the white wire, the white wire is going to going to shrink and I don't want to do that. I want it to stay nice and thick so that my so that it's ho really holding that shape. So you're going to twist, twist, and same deal with the foot. Now when you get to the foot, you want to make sure that the bottom of the foot is flat, but that the top of the foot is a little bit more rounded. So bottom of the foot is flat. I can even take that tool and kind of flatten it out so that the top start is are a little bit more rounded. If you're having trouble getting it to be rounded, you can round it right around that tool. So I'm going to push this up. Now that I've gotten all the way to the end, now I'm going to go back. And you see how I'm kind of crisscrossing them. So they're crossing so they start to form that shape. Now my bottom is a little too round right now, but I think I'm going to come back and fix that with my next piece of black wire. I'm going to go around, going back the opposite way. I want to keep it so that it's starting to look like it's round. Now when I get to the point where I've got like a pinky's worth left, I know I'm, I'm going to need to leave myself some space to tie it in. Now this end doesn't necessarily need to be tied as strongly as your, as your white wire was because it's going to have a couple of layers on top of it. So I'm twisting it in and around. Twisting black wire around black wire or black wire around white wire. So then I've got my first piece of black wire. So I'm kind of starting from my torso and going into my legs so that those legs start being strong enough to hold that weight. So maybe now, this time, I'll start with the arm up here. You always want to take the black wire and go from one body part to another. Because the black wire is kind of going to be what makes it strong enough so that those, those body parts stop moving and start holding their shape. So just like the, just like the other one, I'm crisscrossing them. I'm getting a little tighter this round because I'm going over it again. Now this time, instead of going down this leg, I'm going to go down this leg. Once again, you're trying to keep your features round. So I'm keeping those thighs round. I'm not pulling that too tightly. Keeping the knee round. Now you're going to do this several times with five or six or seven or eight or nine pieces of wire. You want the wire to be nice and long, maybe even two arm lengths, just long enough that you can still manage it. 
if you're finding that it's like poking the people next to you and that you're having trouble like getting it to wrap around, that's the point where you're going to want to start maybe getting a little less. But you want the black wire to be nice and long because the longer it is, the stronger it's going to be and the more features you're going to be able to do. So you want to keep the wire long. You notice I, did, I am not cutting the black wire at all. I run it till it's done. So if I go all the way to my foot and I still have extra, I run it back. Black wire just keeps wrapping around and wrapping around until we really have a form. And you're going to have a couple of classes to do this. So this is the step that's going to take you the time. And then I get up here and I'm down to my like pinky length. So I need to find a spot to tie it in. You want to make sure to tie it in, otherwise it'll start unraveling itself as you're moving this thing around. So you're going to tie it in and you want to tie it in so that the pokey ends are on the inside so you don't poke yourself as you're doing this. Now, now as I go to bend these legs, now I can go back after I've got a few pieces of black wire on, I can go back and start, okay, this leg here needs to bend a little bit more. This foot needs to bend a little bit more where I can start getting the pose a little bit better. So it's holding its pose. The other thing I need to start thinking about as I'm doing this black wire and as, as it's getting its weight is how am I going to make this stay in the pose that I'm doing? If I'm doing this standing up, I might need to make myself a little box. Or I might need to put some weight on this bottom foot so it stands. Because mine is kind of starting, is going to be diving, I might need to have some kind of weight where, where her hand is. I think that's probably going to be easier or so so as I'm doing this as you're doing the black wire you're going to start thinking about where is the weight going to sit is the weight going to sit on the feet is the weight going to sit on the hands and wherever that weight sits you want more stronger black wire because the, the, the black wire is heavy too so it's going to weigh down your, your piece so if you have too much black wire somewhere like for example if I do too much black wire on my feet it's going to want to tip over. Or if I was making her stand, if I have too much black wire on her hands, it's going to want to make her tip over. So you're going to start thinking about how am I going to make this guy stand up by itself? And then, it, but you're going to make, start making it so it's thick so that when we go to do the next step, which is adding the, the colored the colored tissue paper onto it, it still stands up and holds its form and shape. So go add black wire.